Good morning, my viewers and my sub. Portland police have three in custody aim probing Portland's cop triple murder. Double murder, sorry. Three persons of interest, two men and a woman, are now in the police custody in Portland as a probe continues into the murder of a married couple in the rural community of Barracks in Manchineal, Portland, on Wednesday. The couple have been identified as the couple have been identified as 55-year-old Linval Lindsay and 60-year-old Annette Lindsay, alias Plummy, both of the barracks district in the parish. Lindsay, popular known as Natty Coward, had recently been threatened by an individual who now in the police custody, among those now in custody. Police have revealed all three persons are to be questioned by the investigators. It was reported that sometimes after 2 a.m. on Wednesday, residents heard gunshots and alerted the police. Upon the arrival, the cops found Lindsay's lifeless body was seen laying on a roadway near his home with several gunshot wounds. Further checks led to the discovery of the wife body inside the house which appeared to be chop wounds to the upper body. She reportedly died at the scene. A motive for the killing has not yet been closed by the law enforcers. Trelawney businessman charged with friends murder during drinks. The Trelawney police have charged a businessman David Lee with the shooting death of his friend Kim Harley Farbs in the parish on Sunday afternoon. Tragedy struck at about 5.30 p.m. on Sunday while a group of friends was being treated to an alcohol beverage by Lee. The operation of the Spicy Hill Farm Limited, which is located and alongside in Waitabit, Trelawney, it is alleged that during the jellification, the businessman owner at the point pushed Forbes in his face, then used his license firearm to shoot him several times. Residents alerted the police to the law, to the development and their arrival. Law enforcers found Forbes suffering from gunshot wounds. The injured Man was taken to hospital where he were pronounced dead. Crime scene investigator reportedly the removed a total of 11 spent shell casing, two expended bullets, and a nine and a live MM cartridge from the scene of the shooting. The firearm that was used in the shooting was also recovered by the investigators. Lee was now on Wednesday charged with the murder and illegal possession of a firearm. He is to be, he is to be ex expected to appear in the next week court. Two brothers arrested following gun seizure in Old Arbor. The brothers were arrested following the seizure of a firearm in Tefford Tef District, Old Arbor, St. Catherine, on Monday, May 10th. Reports from the Old Arbor Police are that about 9.20 p.m. a team of officers went on patrol in the area when they observed two men walking along the roadway. The men were reportedly acting in a manner that occurred. Ar arose the cops' suspicion. Sorry for that. The men were accosted and searched and one was reportedly found in the possession of a para ordnance P-12 45 pistol with an empty magazine. So, well, I'm a cool a reasoning why it has some of you as I'm a sub. So, them two brother here, they're upon the road, I walk with a machine upon them. Not only them, I walk upon the road with a firearm which is illegal, but they are literally walking with an empty gun. So, for some man rush them you now. For instance, the first somebody rush them now and decide to take them on. Or the police them run up on them certain way or certain way. 
Where they mother do? A papa of an empty fa- Anyway, yeah. They were both arrested. Their identities are being withheld pending further investigation by the police. May I tell us a Jamaican people them? Them a youth and nowadays in a Jamaica. Them, them not smart. And not only smart, them not smart. Them foolish. You walk up and down the road and pose with an empty magazine. Not for them young youth in a Jamaica need to go look some work. Or else the police them go dirt them. Straight. They need to go look some work. But anyway, my viewers, you know, continue to like, share and subscribe to the channel. You don't know a Yard Style TV and we get the latest update and the latest download. Right now, let us get into some other news. Where Indicom is now probing the Trafalgar Road shooting. So the Indicom Commissioner of Investigation, which is Indicom, says it's commencing an independent inquiry into the fatal police shooting incident. Of two men on Monday along Trafalgar Road in St. Anjo. You know, the big shoot out there where the world you jump here can watch on TV right now. Where the bad boy police, the back of the red Toyota car, take cover and hide himself. We don't wrong him still because you don't know the whole police system ago. We are human beings, you know. Not because he have a gun and a vest and a helmet that can't save him. Anyway, according to the Indicom, there has been some speculation, confusion. An inaccuracy in the initial reports broadcast which required clarity. The police report that upon receipt of information concerning a fatal shooting incident in the Swallowfield community, de de community details of the vehicle believed to have the gunman were transmitted. The vehicle was spotted and intercepted along Trafalgar Road by the police where three officers initially confronted the occupants during the encounter gunshot were fired. The details of the circumstances of the discharge of weapons are under investigation. Indicom said, Indicom said in news release Wednesday multiple videos recording from social media Private locations and Jamaica I will be examined by Indicom to ascertain the chronology of the events. The commissioner said adding that is awaiting access to views of some of the materials. Indicom confirmed that two men were shot and killed arising from the police invention. These men are reported as still being unidentified. A third man escaped from the scene. The commissioner said Indicom noted that one of the three men from the suspected vehicle ran into a nearby apartment complex, Abbey Court. That man dressed in blue jeans and a dark comforge t-shirt was handcuffed with the grounds of the complex. He was then placed in a near section of a police vehicle, police vehicle which then drove away from the scene that some arrested man was subsequently observed on a social media recording lane on Trafalgar Road. The arrest man is one of the two deceased in the com said adding that a post mortem examination will determine the nature and the cause of death of both men which includes the driver of the suspected vehicle. Investigation. The body added further that the scene examined reveals that at least four motor vehicles were struck with bullets, in addition to the suspect vehicle. These include a police car and two civilian vehicles. Indicom said one civilian vehicle was struck once to the rear windshield, the other at least five times to the rear. The police vehicle received at least five bullet strikes to the front. The suspect vehicle received at least 42 bullet strikes additional. So right, I know in my viewers, I'm a sub. I want to know for continue like, share and subscribe to the Yard Style TV. Murder on call with the partner. 20 years in the same like a lifetime. I've been hanging every day from a lifeline. Why these fuckers tell than every night? Music.